friends, welcome to Ask Dr. Betters. One of the things that uh, I'd like to share with you is that if you visit our webpage at markinc.org and then click on the section where it talks about resources and then follow that to Ask Dr. Betters, you will find a catalog, so to speak, a grouping of all of our videos by topic. And there you can do a further search to maybe study a particular topic that is of interest to you a little deeper. Uh, we are here for the purpose of answering your questions. Uh, we want you to watch the videos, uh, then become a uh, a member of our, our team of people who uh, take these videos and uh, use them to further enhance your understanding of the faith. Now, there are so many questions uh, that we cannot answer. One of them comes uh, from somebody uh, named Denise who says in Genesis 6, 8, I think she meant, by the way, 6, 4, it says that the Nephilim were here before and after the flood. Are some of us today Nephilim? See, Genesis chapter six and verse four gives us the conditions of the world before the flood was inflicted, before God destroyed the earth by way of the flood. And he gives us the reason why he did that. In Genesis chapter uh, six, it says, when man began to multiply on the face of the land and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of man were attractive and they took as their wives any they chose. Then the Lord said, my spirit shall not abide in man forever, for he is flesh, his days shall be 120 years the Nephilim were on the earth in those days and also afterwards when the sons of God came into the daughters of man and they bore children to them. These were the mighty men who were of old, the men of renown. Now scholars do not know who these mighty men were, but they're called Nephilim. And when you study the word Nephilim, there's two meanings that emerge out of just what the name Nephilim means. It means giants and it means fallen ones. We learn in Numbers uh, chapter uh, 13, I believe it is, that the Nephilim could very well have been the spies uh, targets when the spies went out to target the land to see what the enemy would look like under Moses, they came back and they said they are mighty giants. They could very well have been the first inhabitants of the Canaan lands, the first Canaanites, who obviously were giants, men of renown, men to be feared, and obviously some form of evil maybe demons, uh, maybe men who were uh, bringing violence to the lands. We, we simply don't know exactly who they were. We know what they were characterized as, men of renown, giants, sons of God or demons, uh, and on and on the speculation goes. So there have been many passages, many uh, people who have tried to answer the question of who were the Nephilims. I believe when you put this all together, the Nephilim were very simply uh, giants. They bore the characteristic of giants. They were men who were feared. Uh, they were evil because when he speaks of them being sons of God, he's not talking about sons of the one true living God but sons of the God who wanted himself to be God, which of course is Satan. Those men 
saw the women of the land as attractive. They intermarried with them and they bore offspring, both before and after the flood took place. So to answer the question of whether or not there are any uh, descendants, descendants of Nephilim today, it's very unlikely that they are anybody today living that calls themselves human is a product of the Nephilim marriage to the sons, to the daughters uh, of the people of Canaan. But we do know this, that the kind of evil that they propagated was so bad and so violent uh, and so horrific that God saw fit to destroy the earth. Because the next verse uh, in Genesis 6 verse uh, 5 says, the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him to, into his heart. So the Lord said, I will blot out man whom I have created from the face of the land, man and animals, creeping things and birds of the heavens, for I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. One little simple verse there is the gospel. Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. He was the only one who did. And because of Noah and his family, the earth was spared from absolute desolation where man could never pro uh, propagate again. So to answer your question as simply as I can, who were the Nephilim? The Nephilim were giants who intermarried with the beautiful daughters of Canaan and produced a whole race of people who did nothing but evil continually, which could very well explain why God saw fit to, to destroy the whole earth, to spare no one except the one family that found favor in his sight, that is the family of Noah. I hope this helps. Hi, my name is Melissa Weisenfels, Executive Director here at Mark Inc. Ministries. Thank you so very much for your continued support of this video series. Ask Dr. Betters is not meant to be a substitute for professional counseling, but instead is designed to extract biblical principles around the questions being asked. We encourage you to seek professional counseling if needed.